Hey, this is Paolo from the NB Academy, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to make basses like the ones in the track Operator by AMC. So, this is the original track. Operator. And this is the bass we're going to be making. I know it's not exactly the same, but it contains a lot of the similarities in the movement and texture of the bass that we can learn and then make our own original versions of this. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to get access to preset and project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initial patch, and the first thing we're going to do is to set up our oscillators. So for that, we're going to load a digital wave table. The icon has kick. Because this one is pretty greedy has very nice frequencies on it. Then let's load the band plus and minus modes. We can even notice a UI here. <laughs> very interesting. Uh, in this case, let's put it to the plus side. Like that. Uh, then let's turn on the sub and the noise. And let's get a sign with one oscillator B. The reason why is because we want to run FM from A. So we want to bring this wavetable all the way down by bringing the level all the way down. Then run FM on oscillator A. This way. Very nice frequencies coming from this wavetable. Then what we can do is we can bring the wavetable position all the way down and then map another four into that position. And then maybe set this in one bar, set this on trigger or envelope and then assign different movements here. So for example, we can just have a stale movement like this. Or if we hold Alt, we can snap to grid, let's get a line like this. Or we can just move this if we remove this point and boost this curve all the way up. And now we have kind of the same modulation, but in just one point that we can move. That's very nice. And then at any point on this modulation, we can add another one. Which is very interesting, right? It even inspires uh, you to create different movements. For example, get a filter doing um, something like, like that, which is very interesting. In this case, we're not going to use uh, this filter. And this modulation, we're going to leave it like this. But maybe we will revisit it uh, later in the video. And then we're going to go into the effects tab and we're going to add distortion. Bring this mix down. And as you can see, if you hear this note playing over and over again, the faces of the waveforms change, giving us a different sound. So let's bring the random factor all the way down. and experiment with that position. Cool. Let's go back into the effects tab. And then let's add an EQ. Now with this EQ, we're going to add a bell. And then we're going to modulate the frequency of this. Then let's also add a notch. And we're going to see how to modulate all of this in one second. Let's just add a multiband compressor. And let's boost this up a little bit. There you go. Then let's add a phaser filter. For example, phaser uh, plus. That should be good. Now, if we go into the oscillator tab, let's just start creating our general movement. So let's map an LFO into the level of oscillator B. And also on the noise. Like that. Cool, so now we can create our sequence. Let's put this on one bar. Let's set this on trigger. And then let's just start creating the sequence. So we want a ta -ta -ta -ta. Something like that, right? So let me just do this real quick.
This sounds nice. Okay, cool. Let's set everything here on trigger so it repeats. Oh, this this ending point of the modulation, let's try to do something different. Or maybe keep it the same. Yeah, that should be good. And so once we have this movement, let's just assign it to different things. For example, let's go to the effects tab and let's assign this LFO into the EQ. Same with the notch. And this is what's going to give us a growl feel of the sound. That's very nice. Let's add some more distortion. Or map it to distortion, actually. Maybe in the phaser. Nice. Let's also map it in the sub. And on the vent plus. Nice. And as you can see, you just have a lot of room to experiment. With all of these modulations and all the oscillators, we can even change the wavetable. Add uh, another filter. For example, we can add a high pass with a notch here. Once again, have this in the cutoff. Oh, let's remove this LFO. Let's modulate the notch. Or change it into a peak. There's a lot of things to do with this patch. Now, for post-processing, this is very simple. We're just going to need an EQ and an OTT. Now we can go back into the patch, change something like the noise, the wavetable. In this case, I can't escape what's the best. Can change the FM. That's super nice. We can change the filter. And we can change different filters like the phaser one. And mix it differently. That's dope. So yeah, this is it for creating bases in this style. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you hit like on the video and subscribe. And if you already subscribed, share this with a producer friend who you think would appreciate having this resource. Doing so allows us to grow the channel and keep making these videos. So once again, if you want to get access to preset and the project files, you can become a member of preset pass. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>